A premium game where the only way to progress is to spend money. Yeah, we all expected that to go well, didn't we? Artifact started out very, very strong with 60,000 viewers at all time peak, and that held pretty well for about a month straight or so after release, and then it really started going downhill when people realized the pay to win model of it wasn't convenient for the average player, and now the highest number of players online for this month is 400 players. This game has only been out right around five months at this point, and there has not been over 3,000 players online at once since January. So at this point, the game has lost 99% of its players, and Richard Garfield, the project designer, has left the project. But apparently Valve thinks that even though 99% of the players have left, they can still save it for some reason. Programmer Jeep Barnett said that Artifact represents the largest discrepancy between our expectations for how one of our games would be received and the actual outcome. It has been clear that there are deep-rooted issues with the game, <laughs> and that our original update strategy of releasing new features and cards would be insufficient to address them. So what they are going to do is pause updating the game and work on the problems that the game has, which they did not even admit the problem is the predatory monetization. All that they said that they were going to be closely examining was, was the game design, the economy, the social experience of playing, and more. There obviously is a very large discrepancy between expectations and actual outcome here. You thought that you could get away with these monetization strategies and that because you had Richard Garfield's name slapped to one side and Valve's name slapped as the developer to the other, people would be opening their wallets for you. And that wasn't the case and you are finally admitting that there is an issue, but you won't admit exactly what that issue is, which is a whole other topic for itself. And they did try to fix the monetization to a point. When the game launched, you had to spend nearly $300 to own every card in the game, but now you can complete your collection with right around $60, and they didn't change their pricing model until they had realized roughly 60% of their players had left, and that was just too late for the game to survive at that point. That was a key reason why I did not touch Artifact from day one. Obviously, I love card games. I love them whether they are digital or physical, and I play a vast array of them. And I have played TCGs or trading card games for right around eight years now, pretty consistently. It, but they came out of the gates as if this game had the prestige of something along the lines of Magic the Gathering. But I didn't purchase into this game because they disregarded their consumers from pre-launch. Even though this game looked like it had solid gameplay and they had a solid direction for the game, they were trying to charge a premium for a new franchise, I want to note, and that that wasn't going to work and they had so much going for this launch and that's the problem. Even many larger streamers and players were interested in this game and competing in the beta, but the players tried so hard to voice their thoughts on the monetization problems, but Valve stuck to their guns and disregarded the consumers, and do you see where it got them? It got them to one of the largest flops of 2018. And 2018 was full of a lot of large flops, but this is definitely one of them. It didn't even survive into 2019, and this is a huge problem. A game with good mechanics and a good community, and it didn't even survive into a full year because of the predatory monetization that they had implemented since before the game had even launched. And this game had so many unique aspects to it. People were very interested in it, and players coming from Dota 2 as well, since the game was based off of that universe, and players from Hearthstone and Magic the Gathering, this could have been a great alternative digital card game to play, but Valve saw the players as payers and it, did, and it didn't work because they did not listen. Companies that are creating games need to listen to consumers when it comes to the monetization practices. These are the players that are giving you their money that are going to purchase and play your game, not the people that sit at their desks for eight hours a day saying $20 seems too low, we should double it. That's not who is purchasing your game, you have to listen to those people. And they didn't consider their competition, which was another huge problem. Every game that is a direct competitor to Artifact had a free way to play. Hearthstone, Magic the Gathering Arena, Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions, all of these games had a way to test the game for free and Artifact didn't. You had to pay $20 to initially get into the game, which again was a huge paywall and a huge problem straight off the bat. I am glad that Artifact failed, and I say that very lightly. I never want to admit that I'm happy that a game failed. 
but I am glad that it failed since they had such a predatory monetization system and it was so unfriendly to consumers. And even if they did try to fix the game at this point, they've already lost their players and it just will not work. They cannot revive something that has nothing left to it. 99% of players gone. I don't see this being revived in this coming back to life ever. Even if they had an artifact 2.0, I just do not see it happening at this point. But artifact really got me thinking about the monetization and how it's becoming a trending problem in recent releases. And I do plan on talking more about those issues and problems like that in the future. It's really opened my eyes to that fact and I've really started looking deeper into monetization problems that games have been having recently because of Artifact, because I was interested in it and then I realized how awful the situation turned out. And there are just a lot of releases like this in general that are ruined. A good game and a good creation is ruined due to predatory monetization, but that is all that I wanted to talk about for today, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, if you did, make sure to give it a like, and if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either which way. If there are any games that you had particularly been interested in that were ruined due to monetization problems, please comment them in the comments down below. I'm curious to know what other games there are that have been ruined by predatory monetization that maybe I looked over but you didn't. But I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys again really soon.